Welcome to another episode of Ancient Asian Legends. I'm your host, Mei Li Soon. In today's episode, we rejoin the Monkey King as he embarks on a journey of acquiring some remarkable magical skills and faces his very first foe. This narrative is drawn from the pages of the classic Chinese tale, Journey to the West, written by Wu Chung-in in 1592. Stick around until the end for our proverb of the day, a dose of timeless Asian wisdom that adds a reflective touch to our journey. Without further ado, let's ease into today's story titled Mastering Tao and Conquering the Demon King. Chapter 2, Mastering Tao and Conquering the Demon King Previously on Ancient Asian Legends, the Monkey King left Hua Guoshan Mountain and arrived at the Mountain of the Spiritual Inch, where he encountered an immortal being named Bodhi Patriarch and became the Patriarch's disciple. The Patriarch gave the Monkey King a new name, Wukong. Under the guidance of the Patriarch, Wukong mastered magical tricks like the 72 transformations. The Monkey King learned how to morph into various forms. He could become anything from a tree to an animal. Wukong also learned special skills, including the incredible somersault cloud, a move in which he can travel a whopping 1,008 miles in a single somersault. With his training complete, Wukong bid farewell to the patriarch and set off on his journey back to Hua Guoshan. As he approached the mountain, Wukong heard his monkey troop crying out in sorrow. He asked his friends why they were so upset, and the troop replied that, while Wukong was gone, a monster named Demon King had been oppressing them. The Demon King had been stealing fire, kidnapping young monkeys, and plotting to capture their home, the cave, with a water curtain. Wukong resolved to teach the Demon King a lesson. With a leap and a jump, Wukong journeyed north to confront the troublemaker. As Wukong drew closer, the menacing Demon King appeared, wearing a towering black gold helmet, a billowing silk robe, a tightly fastened leather belt, formidable black iron armor, and flower-patterned boots. Standing at ten feet tall, the Demon King's eyes glowed ominously, casting a fearsome shadow. The Demon King raised his razor-sharp sword and exuded an aura of immense size, terror, and intimidation. As Wukong advanced, the battle unfolded in a flurry of action. The Monkey King's long-reaching fists aimed at the Demon King's ribs and groin, delivering powerful blows. Swiftly dodging the Monkey King's finishing strike, the Demon King seized a large steel knife, swinging it towards Wukong's head. With agility, Wukong evaded the Demon Blade. The Monkey King realized he could not defeat the Demon King with skill alone. He needed to use magic. In response to the Demon King's ferocity, Wukong employed his transformation technique. Plucking a handful of his own fur, Wukong chewed it and spat it into the air, uttering, Transform! In an instant, he turned into over 300 small monkeys, encircling the bewildered Demon King. The hundreds of small monkeys danced around the edge of the battle, skillfully evading the Demon King's attacks as he slashed at them with sword and spear. Wukong weaved through the chaos and directed the monkeys to encircle the Demon King. They closed in on their demon foe, pulling and tugging and twisting and turning in a synchronized frenzy. Diving between the Demon King's legs, they executed kicks, hits, punches, and pulls, creating a whirlwind of strikes. The Demon King was overwhelmed. As he stumbled, Wukong seized the Demon King's knife, bringing an end to the confrontation. Then. Wukong rescued all the little monkeys the Demon King had captured and burned down the Demon King's hideout. When Wukong returned to Hua Guoshan Mountain, his troop of monkeys was overjoyed. 
His friends cheered and celebrated and praised their great king, the monkey king with a big smile, shared with them his name, Sun Wukong. From that day forward, Wukong and his monkey companions enjoyed a lifetime of happiness. They played and laughed, but made sure to guard their home, ensuring that a pesky demon would never again disturb their tranquility. As Wukong basks in the glory of his return, eagerly anticipating his immortal destiny, little does he know that challenges lurk in the horizon. Shadows of a new adventure wait to be unveiled. What mysteries and trials await our hero? To hear the thrilling next chapter of Wukong's journey, join us for the next episode of Ancient Asian Legends. Today's proverb of the day is the following. Nothing is difficult for those with determination. It emphasizes the idea that with a strong will, one can overcome any challenge. This is the very advice the Bodhi patriarch gave Wukong as he learned the 72 transformations and somersault cloud, according to the original Chinese text from 1592. Wukong dedicated decades to rigorous practice, demonstrating that even the Monkey King relied on determination and hard work to achieve mastery. There you have it. Nothing is difficult for those with determination, our proverb of the day. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Ancient Asian Legends. Today's story was adapted by Mei Li Soon, edited by Matthew Borer, with original music by Hot Dope and Studio Columna. If Wukong's adventures resonated with you, please share the podcast with those who might find joy in these ancient tales. Follow us on social media for more Proverbs of the Day. As we bid farewell to today's episode, the question lingers. What challenges lie ahead for Wukong? Join us in the next episode of Ancient Asian Legends. Until then, take care and stay enchanted.